There are fears a monster shark measuring more than five metres is lurking off North Stradbroke Island in Queensland. Wow, look at the size. I mean, this female, she's definitely bigger than this up as long. Yeah. The guy running around with the surfboard, and I was like, how are the waves? And he was like, pretty chill, but there's a 40-footer on the beach, beached up. And I was like, what do you mean 40-footer? And he was like, well. I seen it going directly under the kayak, and it was like, holy this thing is massive. It has been centuries since the Megalodon, the biggest shark in the world, went extinct. But here are some sightings and encounters that will make you wonder about its existence. After all, there's always bigger fish in the sea. Join us to watch the monsters captured by fishermen that shocked the whole world. The Marina Trench in the Western Pacific Ocean is the deepest part of the world's oceans. And despite its lowest point, the Challenger Deep being deeper than the height of Mount Everest, some creatures manage to thrive in the intense pressure and darkness that surround the trench. But because of its intriguing features, we haven't explored much of it, so we know little to nothing about the sea creatures that live there. One such example is the mystery creature spotted a few years ago by an ROV, and many claim it bears a strong resemblance to the Meg. The reason? Not all sharks can survive in the Challenger Deep. Only the Greenland and Six Gill, but this shark is not one of them. This shark is at least 60 feet long, which no shark species except the Megalodon has ever achieved. Well, that's the stuff of nightmares. Six Secrets. Okay, I'm still in the belly. Yeah, still yeah, in the yeah, belly. I'm not, I'm not. A little more than 80% of our ocean remains unexplored. And this fact becomes even more unsettling when you think the creatures we're used to seeing rarely make their way to the bottom. Even for a shark, surviving in the depths of the ocean is an impossible feat, save for some species like the six-gill shark, which made one of its rarest appearances when an ROV captured it accidentally. And whoa! This shark seems to have no end. My oh, goodness. Where's my phone? <laughs> Seriously, just look at it endlessly swimming as if it's one of the biggest creatures ever seen. The shark inspected the ROV for a while before disappearing into the dark. The six-gill shark can withstand the immense pressure underwater. And honestly speaking, if we're already seeing glimpses of marine life in places we don't really know much about, how hard is it to believe in something monstrous living with them? Wow, look at the size. I mean, this female, she's definitely bigger than this up as long. Yeah grace and depth. I'd never thought I'd say this, but boy am I glad some sharks don't like eating, well, us. Weighing up to four tons and standing at an impressive 26 feet, basking sharks are every marine enthusiast's dream and every other person's nightmare. Just imagine taking a dive into the ocean and coming across this giant mouth. Most would simply piss their pants at the sight. Luckily, basking sharks are filter feeders, and if they tried to digest anything other than small fish and plankton, they wouldn't be able to. But their sheer size, coupled with an intimidating appearance, plus it is a shark. Yep, that's something you point the cross at and hope it goes away. Bizarre Behemoth A diver encountered a giant sea creature, which eagerly approached the diver to give him a good old scan. The diver remained calm because he knew he was in front of a Megamouth, one of the world's rarest sharks to encounter. The Megamouth is named so for its gaping mouth, which, although only opens to filter feed, is as wide as a queen bed and naturally causes most to freak out. <laughs> The Megamouth shark can be as big as a large van, but that's not even the most intimidating thing. Megamouths have been roaming the ocean for at least a century. But do you know when we discovered them? 1976. That's right, this creature has been exploring the ocean for who knows how long, and we only learned it existed a few decades ago. What else have we yet to learn about? Predator's Bite 
There are fears a monster shark measuring more than five metres is lurking off North Stradbroke Island in Queensland. The Great White stands at the very top of the food chain in the ocean, or that's what we thought. In a completely perplexing twist, Bruce here was discovered by beachgoers, and yes, something took a big chunk out of this Great White. Naturally, this gave the beachgoers something to talk about. I'm very scared, very devastated for everyone here. You know, I think they should catch, close the beach. But I don't think they focused on the right thing. I mean, yes, the poor great white experienced quite the unexpected end to life, but shouldn't our concern be what ate it? Although orcas routinely hunt sharks, they wouldn't leave a shark out like this. And other whale and shark species pale in comparison to the great white. In an even more surprising twist, a whale was discovered similarly too. The only plausible theory is something lurks inside the ocean and is not going hungry. Ocean's Acrobat. Here great white sharks are known to breach. You should always be careful what you ask for because some results can turn out to be unexpectedly big. The crew of Shark Week undertook a massive task when they decided to lure a great white to the surface. And this wasn't just your ordinary great white, although calling any as such is an insult. Deploying a decoy seal in the water with one of the crew members swimming just a certain distance away, the crew waited in anticipation as a great white shark followed suit. And then the miraculous moment happened. The shark breached in a leap, showing its impressive size in full gusto. Folks, this great white is at least 18 feet long and is wider than a giant refrigerator. We can only make out half of its body, but that is enough to convince us that these beings are certainly superior. That shark is a true leviathan. You don't see many of those sharks. Oceanic Intrigue Check out what one ROV captured. That's a Greenland shark, and a pretty massive one, too. Greenland sharks are one of the rarest to encounter because they prefer to stay in the depths where spotting anything would be impossible. So it's quite the adorable encounter to see this one approaching the ROV and even conducting its own inspection. The Greenland shark is one of the longest living vertebrates, which means this one is probably 100 or more years old. You can't tell here, but this Greenland shark is quite big probably somewhere between 20 to 24 feet, which is as big as a bowling alley. Thanks to their shyness, we still don't know much about the Greenland sharks, except they can get much bigger and older than we think. And if that doesn't tell you about what mystery lurks under the ocean, I don't know what will happen. Blue Wonder the largest great white shark on record anywhere in the world, Deep Blue, as she's called, made a surprise appearance off the coast of Oahu this week. Meet Deep Blue, the biggest great white shark on record. Estimated to be at least 50 years old, Deep Blue stands out as the largest female shark, standing at a whopping 20 meters. About 20 feet long, 50 years old, and very pregnant. That means she's as tall as a one-story building. She was first spotted in Mexico and has since become a marine enthusiast's most beloved sighting. But her size hints at a much sinister beginning. We've all known large sea creatures like the Meg existed at one point, but here's a head scratcher. Close to when the Meg is last said to have existed, another shark species began to emerge, the Great White. Scientists are even wondering if the Meg was driven out by an increasing population of Great Whites. Judging by Deep Blue's size, many are prompted to wonder if this theory holds weight. For the most part, the more we learn about their behavior. Slash the Great. Sort of quite um, aggressive for his size, you know, he'll push them in front of the bigger ones. This is Slash, named rightfully so after this great white escaped a fisherman and still bears the scar today. Being a brutal creature like a great white is one thing. Even scarier is Slash's terrifying size which spans to at least 18 feet. But here's where it all gets crazier. Slash is used to headbutt boats and terrorizing people solely because he's holding on to intense memories from the past. This hasn't stopped some marine explorers from heading out to his territory. Although thankfully they respect Slash's space 
and even leave out some food. But if it's a great white shark, as angry as it is, encounters humans occasionally, who's to say previous monstrous creatures haven't? Can you imagine how life was when giants like the Megalodon were still swimming around? And to think they might still be lurking deep below. He just won't let go of it. Oh my god. The Mega Beast. What the hell was that? In 2013, a charter fishing boat in South Africa was said to have encountered the only megalodon attack known in history. It all started just as the sun started to set, bringing forth a night that was only illuminated by the lights on the boat. Just as the crew was excitedly awaiting its catch of the day, something rocked the boat, toppling it, and then there was nothing. All that remained was the camera lodged on the boat that captured everything. Although authorities immediately investigated, they found nothing, and the mystery remains. While most are quick to suggest it may have been a great white, it couldn't have knocked the entire boat. Even if it was a whale, such incidents never happen. Well, it may have sounded incredulous before, but it seems like the Megalodon is really bent on proving its existence. Blue Titan I wonder if this is how ants feel when they look up at us. Coming up for air, this blue whale makes everything disappear. And rightfully so, since it is the largest animal to ever exist. Allow me to explain. While most blue whales grow up to 70 to 90 feet in length, which is even bigger than what the megalodon is said to be, there's one creature, the Antarctic blue whale, that is even bigger. About 100 feet, or a Boeing 737 airplane. The blue whale is so big, in fact, that its heart alone is the size of a small car. The blue whale can grow as old as a century. So while we know they certainly weren't there when Meg was, it's quite unnerving to think what the ocean would be like when this monstrous creature met one of the ocean's most horrifying ones. King of the Ocean I'm no marine expert, but something tells me when you see a jellyfish that big, you're supposed to swim in the opposite direction. The Lion Mane's jellyfish is one of the largest jellyfish in the world. And as you can see, it's taller than the average human being. Well, at least the juvenile ones are. A fully adult Lion Mane's jellyfish can have tentacles longer than the blue whale. That's a big nope. Although this jellyfish has a short lifespan, there's still a chance this creature existed millennia ago. And here's the crazy part. If it did exist back when Meg did, there's a chance it survived the ferocious beast, simply because it has a very powerful sting which can deliver quite the punch. The Kraken a strange mystical object and men with hazmat suits appeared on Sydney's Bondi Beach this morning. Say what you will about mythical beings, this will make you a believer in the Kraken. The formidable sea monster mentioned in countless stories and sightings found itself with a tragic end as it lay lifeless on Bondi Beach, Australia. The site was discovered by beachgoers early in the morning and since then has sparked a lot of debate. The obvious answer would be to believe it's fake. But considering how big a squid can be, it doesn't sound too impossible to imagine an octopus this big. Countless sea creatures that once existed on Earth no longer do. So we can't deny the existence of the Kraken. All I can say is, even if it's fake, it gives us a lot to think about. Loch Ness Monster a bunch of tourists in Ireland's Loch Foyle swear to have captured the Loch Ness Monster and have even provided shocking footage to back up their claim. The mysterious creature suddenly emerged from the water and judging by its speed could easily outrun a hippo. This being's size and unique gait match no animal seen before. It appears to be something with a ridged back like an eel 
that moves through the water by arching its body in a snake-like motion. Well, that's a creature we've yet to discover. Many claim the video was a hoax, but we've yet to find out more about it. Either way, it's pretty chilling evidence of the Loch Ness Monster, and who knows, maybe all those sightings in Ireland decades ago really were true. Get this. The Ninja. This footage is the only sighting of the Ninja and was anonymously uploaded to the internet 17 years ago. The Ninja, a cryptid from Japanese lore, is said to dwell in the icy Antarctic waters. Described as a colossal human-like creature, it's often portrayed as being 20 to 30 meters long, with a pale, almost white complexion. The creature has a face resembling a human and limbs that remind some of a mermaid. The story of the Ninja first emerged from alleged sightings by Japanese fishermen or research crews. However, there's no concrete evidence to confirm its existence. Well, at least until the video was uploaded. Even since then, the only ninja sightings have been shared by word of mouth. So we don't know if it truly exists. But if we know anything about the ocean, it's that we know nothing. Aerial Dance In the frosty waters of Skurvjo, northern Norway, a kayaker experienced a moment both exhilarating and intimidating. A colossal male orca, a formidable giant of the sea, surfaced for air startlingly close to the kayak. Orcas known as apex predators are at the top of the marine food chain. Their size alone, with males reaching up to 26 feet and weighing several tons, is imposing. While orcas are not known to harm humans in the wild, the sight of such a massive predatory creature so close could send a chill through even the bravest soul. It's also quite disturbing to know that orcas could choose to hunt us at any time, and yet they rarely do, which means we're just a ticking clock away from a possible orca tackle. Bloop. In 1997, the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, recorded a mysterious sound. It was a loud, ultra-low frequency sound that was heard at listening stations over 5,000 kilometers apart. Although scientists initially assumed the sound came from a whale or a shark, further tests revealed it matched no sea creature in existence. Eventually, scientists concluded the sound was emitted by a mysterious creature named the Bloop. Here's a pretty cool rendition of what the Bloop possibly looks like, possibly bigger than the Megalodon. Unfortunately, ever since its first hearing, the sound has only been heard a few times and never with a body to match it. Does the Bloop really exist? And if it does, did it encounter Meg? Well, what do you think? Whale War Imagine hoping to capture a breaching whale in all its majestic, and instead capturing a creature that was long thought to be extinct. Just as the whale breached, invoking the awe of viewers, another unexpected visitor tagged along and took the colossal whale with it. The whole ordeal took less than a few seconds which is why most biologists refuse to believe the whale was tackled by an orca, which, although fast, typically launches a coordinated attack. The big question is, if it wasn't an orca and not a larger whale, what was it? Of course, the sight has since prompted most to wonder if it's the megalodon making an unexpected appearance. But the creature hasn't been witnessed since and stands as one of the biggest mysteries ever. Brazilian Beast have to be open to any possibility, including Megalodon. In 2013, a routine Brazilian Coast Guard patrol took an unexpected turn when something reminiscent of a shark made its appearance, and yet it was simultaneously nothing like they'd seen before. Let's play back the visual a little more. Right there, 
at the very top right corner. Yep, that's not just any shark, but one the Brazilian Coast Guard estimated to be at least 60 feet. When the video went viral, most theorized it was a Greenland shark, which can grow that big. But it wouldn't survive in the hot Brazilian waters. Folks, this might just be an actual Meg sighting. Well, all those tales about ancient fishermen spotting colossal creatures no longer seem like a stretch, do they? Shoreline shock. Oh man, that's big. Never seen anything like it. That's gotta be like 70 feet. Whoa, that's an actual Megalodon. And that too beached like it's a big ball. Well, naturally the video has prompted quite a few crazy theories. Countless immediately pointed out how unnatural it looked. And if the Meg truly was discovered, why would no media channel broadcast it? Ooh, holy crap. Others took a different approach. Some suggest it's entirely plausible this is a beached Meg. But the government retrieved the specimen to conduct tests and decided to keep it hushed to avoid controversy. What do you think? Is it truly one of the largest sea creatures to ever exist, casually discovered? Or is it a very crafty ruse? It's gotta be like 70 feet. Woo. Great White Giant. Seeing a great white shark bearing scars of its past battles is probably one of the most intimidating things you'll ever see. Spotted near the Neptune Islands, this battle-hardened great white has been spooking boaters for weeks until it was finally spotted during a diving retreat. And boy, this shark has not led an easy life. Since sharks frequently chase ship propellers, you'd think this one did too and encountered some slashes along the way. But this theory becomes quite moot because an encounter like that would mean more than just the shark. Most marine enthusiasts claim the shark was once the victim of humans, who either tried to hunt it and failed, or encountered it in a bad mood and barely escaped. It's impossible the incident happened a few decades ago, suggesting this old veteran has been roaming the ocean for quite a while now. But if it's neither a propeller nor a human weapon, could it be a bigger opponent? Oh my god. Oh my god. Cryptic waves. You may not believe the sightings, but would you believe an imprint of the formidable Megalodon? In 2016, scientists captured a giant mystery creature with an impressive wake in the middle of the Antarctic Ocean. Its picture was captured on Google Earth and is still there for viewers to see. And ever since then, the creature has become one of the biggest head scratchers for the marine world. According to the creature's size, this mystery is measured 100 feet long. Considering only two creatures, the blue whale and the megalodon itself can grow this big, we're prompted to wonder about its identity. Now, I know it might be the easiest to claim it's just the whale, but marine scientists have already duped the theory and are supporting the idea of the megalodon still existing in remote parts of the world. Gentle Giant Well, there goes my plan for the summers. Most folks would actively clutch onto their prayer beads if they saw this gigantic fella make an appearance right under their noses. But I guess these boaters are made of something else. This is a giant whale shark, and thank God it typically is quite docile or calm, or else who knows what kind of nightmare we'd be dealing with. Look at its size. That's at least 30 feet, but this majestically terrifying creature can grow as big as a standard airplane. The thing is, I don't know why it's so hard to believe creatures like the Meg, which surpass our imagination with their size, exist, especially since we've got these creatures making the year-old occasional trips to the surface. Rosie's Saga. Oh, what the hell? Can you guys say that? I'm gonna turn my mind off. In 2012, an Australian wildlife park shut down, and while it relocated its animals, the park unknowingly left one of its most precious behind. For years, Rosie, the great white shark, was locked up in a cage. Her story is frozen in time, and a wild reminder that sometimes humans can be a bit too cruel. Rosie was hunted in 1997, but her body was preserved and placed on display for decades to come. 
Although Rosie's life ended much earlier compared to other sharks, her story has displaced the scientific community because they wonder if other creatures, especially those that bore a resemblance to prehistoric colossus like the Meg, did exist, but were simply hunted to extinction by man. The theory sounds a bit silly, but if you were to stand along with Rosie, knowing someone managed to capture this gigantic creature gives the theory a lot of weight. Look at that. Can you say it? Oceans Glide. Um, guys, are manta rays supposed to grow this big? You might think this is just a small manta ray with a shark pup, but believe it or not, that shark is at least two meters, and that puts the entire thing into perspective. Well, the minute I saw this, I did some research, and well, if you've got thalassophobia, you might want to put manta rays on your list of no-nos too. Manta rays can grow up to nine feet long. Some, like this one, have grown even longer. Their wingspan is even bigger, under 29 feet. This manta ray is bigger than a small car, and with its pectoral fins spread like that, they could be as long as a school bus. The Greek Riddle On the Greek island of Corfu, there's an intriguing tale of a mysterious sea creature. Some say it looks like a huge snake-like animal gliding through the ocean, while others compare it to a giant squid. These sightings have sparked a lot of curiosity and excitement among the locals, who even claim to have heard the mysterious Corfu Island creature. Here's an idea. This story is part of a long-standing human interest in the sea's mysteries. It's similar to our fascination with known large creatures like the Megalodon. The Corfu creature's tail, while not scientifically proven, taps into this curiosity about the ocean's depths. This creature may exist. Monstrous Crustacean Our satellites often catch things we wouldn't even know existed, like a giant 50-foot crab that was discovered off the coast in Tankerton Beach in Whitestable, UK. The enormous capture was dubbed the Crabzilla and confused locals who had no idea what was lurking in the ocean. It also prompted several people to rush to the beach and jump in the waves in hopes of discovering what had happened. But by then, this huge crab had simply drifted away from sight. While many were quick to point toward Photoshop and editing skills, countless suggested the crab could be related to the Japanese spider crab, which can reportedly grow as big as a small car. Well, even if it's real, I bet it will make some awesome crab rolls. Ocean's Oddity. Okay, so Mola, guys, right in front 82 of us. meters. Oh my gosh, it's massive. Diving into the serene waters, a group of divers were in for a surprise of colossal proportions. There, emerging from the blue, was the Mola Mola, or ocean sunfish, a true behemoth of the sea. These creatures are the heaviest of all bony fish, with some weighing over two tons and measuring up to 10 feet. The sight of the Mola Mola is startling. Its body is flattened and oddly shaped, with large fin-like protrusions making it look almost otherworldly. Despite their intimidating size, mola molas are known as gentle giants. They mainly feed on jellyfish and move slowly, which can be quite a spectacle to witness. Well, thank heavens for that! Imagine what diving would be if this creature went around chasing humans to consume. For me, they underscore how everybody plays a role. Everyone is what makes this system tick. In August 2022, a sperm whale's carcass was discovered on a beach in Java, Indonesia. A sperm whale has died after becoming stranded on the eastern shore of Indonesia's Java Island. The whale had mysteriously beached itself in the middle of the night. So by the time beachgoers noticed it, the poor creature had already passed away. Authorities immediately closed off the area and set out to investigate. They believed the sperm whale had been driven to the shore after it was driven out by a predator, presumably an orca. But here's the thing. According to later investigations, no orcas had recently made any appearance. And if they had, they would never have let the whale breach. So what caused the whale's demise? A mysterious creature lurking under the waves? or something as sinister as a Meg? That's a question that has yet to be answered. 
Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.